Uh, my name is Steve Robinson. I'm a trustee here at St. Gerard's. My name is Hai Nguyen. I am uh, the uh, leader of the uh, parish council. Over the last year and a half, we've used this parish update as a vehicle to communicate to you as parishioners across the parish. Uh, we will continue to do that with a variety of topics uh, over the coming two months until Father Lockowitz arrives in September. One of the things we wanted to communicate to you is just a schedule of upcoming events uh, that we're planning over the coming months. Uh, in particular, we're looking to have a movie night, a family movie night. Uh, we're looking at adding back hospitality after masses. Uh, we're we're going to bring back the garage sale after a one-year hiatus uh, in September. And then we're looking at a fall event uh, coinciding with uh, Father Lackwitzer's uh, installation mass. Another activity that we're going to update you on uh, in the future is about the synod process. And we have a team here at St. Gerard's that's been working on uh, how, how that synod process will play out within this parish. So a group of fo folks uh, has been formed as a transition committee to, to work on the process of helping uh, orient and introduce Father Lackwitzer to St. Gerard's. Well, part of that includes uh, giving him a history of St. Gerard's, uh, introducing him to a variety of the uh, committees and, and uh, teams that, that work in, in St. Gerard's, uh, as, as well as helping uh, him get oriented and understanding uh, the broader Brooklyn Park community. Okay. Well, I, I have a chance to meet with Father Charlie. I think uh, he was great. And I also, I mean, even before he came, I, uh, I got a chance to uh, look at his uh, uh, video online and, and that got me really excited because I think he's going to bring a lot of good things to our parish, and especially for, for the Vietnamese people. I, I do feel, you know, you know it's it, it great to have, you know, not just like a part of Charlie, but it, it's a Monsignor Charlie. I think that's a huge deal for us. Yeah, I think it's very important for Father Charlie to meet with the, the Vietnamese uh, uh, group because uh, we do have a very large uh, number of uh, the Vietnamese that show up for uh, every Sunday Mass. And uh, I mean, I, I would think Father Charlie would, would like to meet with the Vietnamese um, original and, uh, you know, understand their concern and also uh, understand uh, you know, how we can get to know each other and work with each other. Uh, over, over the coming months, uh, we will have additional priests until Father Lackwitz arrives to, to help with the daily and weekly masses. In addition, they will be uh, available to do other sacraments uh, and funerals as needed. We do want to thank folks that have been volunteering their time uh, to serve at Masses, whether it be Eucharistic ministers or ushers. Uh, but as, as time is going on here, we have a need for additional people to, uh, to support and, uh, and participate in the Masses in these various capacities. So uh, if that's something that's of interest to you, uh, please keep this in mind. Uh, more information will be coming out uh, asking for people who want to be more involved and, and play a role in Masses each week. Well, as you can see, we probably have one of the largest uh, attendance of, of the masses. So uh, right now, uh, we have a uh, volunteer that actually came from a different church that that been helping us out over uh, over the year. So we definitely need, need more people. We need more uh, Special liturgy uh, minister. We need more usher. We need more uh, sacristan. We need uh, altar server. So we uh, we we asking for your help. <laughs> I know that uh, at some of the masses that I've been attending, that people have had questions about what the the next period of time is going to look like. 
What's it been like at the uh, Vietnamese mass? It, it will be the same as the Vietnamese mass. Yeah. So, so we understand and we recognize that there will be questions. Um, and so uh, we think it's important as you have questions uh, that you have an opportunity to ask those questions and, and the parish leadership can respond. So we will be creating uh, an avenue uh, for you to write down comments and submit them at mass that, uh, that the parish leadership team will take a look at and respond so that, uh, again, there's an open dialogue and questions that you have, have a, are getting answered by the by parish leadership. One of the real strengths of St. Gerard's is the fact that we are a very diverse community. And I'm really excited, and I know Hai is as well, about yeah. the opportunity for us as one consolidated parish to move forward into the future. We know that St. Gerard's has been through a series of transitions in recent years. Uh, and this is just another one, but we are really excited about the future for St. Gerard's and looking forward to what is to come.